Okay. Hi. So when I came to China first, I went through a few struggles which could have been avoided or simplified if I knew some of these things that we are going to talk about today. My name is Toto and I'm currently living in China and I would like to bring you videos here in China. Let's go. time it was very cold it was snowing i came back from outside and i was freezing my hands were all freezing and what i did was i put my hand under hot water maybe you don't know what happened this let me give you a clue my hands became red i was feeling extreme pain in my hands what if i had met someone who could tell me that hey that is not the way to go that's not the right way to be warm when you are very cold I didn't know and these things happen to me right so today i want us to talk about so first on the list is you need to get a visa yeah i'm sure that every country has um, at least maybe three countries that you can visit on visa free there is this 72 hour um, visa for people who want to visit an island which is in china but not the whole china so it is very important for you to um, get a visa before you come to china that is step one and step two is your credit card is probably not going to work foreign credit cards can be um, can be difficult to work here um, our advice that you get um, you get your physical cash either in USD or UN that is the RMB before you come to China and that would surely make life a little easy for you the third one on the list is please always carry your passport because um, you, are, you are probably new here and you don't want to have anything with the authorities that are here in china i recommend that you have your passport wherever you go if you've stayed here for long you probably know your way through and out of of any city that you go but if you are new here i advise that you get your passports everywhere that you go and the fourth one is get a vpn the full meaning of vpn is virtual private network all the western applications has been blocked in china so basically you can't go on whatsapp um, youtube um, instagram facebook twitter because they've been blocked so if you want to go on these apps you need to get a vpn i'm personally using um, there is hotspot shield on my iphone and then there is uh, i think star vpn and then on my laptop where i uploaded this video for you to see I'm using Hogs VPN, Hogs H O X X, and then there is Hotspot Shield um, on my laptop on Google Web Chrome. So you need to get a VPN before you come to China. And the next one is don't drink the water here. Um, where I came from, you uh, you can be able to drink from tap water because it's very clean and it's it's acceptable for you to drink but in china tap water is not advisable for you to drink and the water um bottled water is very cheap to get here you can get one for an one rmb or two rmb and if you want to drink in china that is the best way to drink you buy bottled water and you drink so the next one on the list is there is no tipping in china so um I'm sure in the US and in even where I came from Ghana when you go to a restaurant and someone 
um, after serving you, you try and give something as an appreciation to the person in the form of a tip um, in cash to the person to say thank you. But in China, what they give you is what you have to pay. You don't do any extra tipping to the tender who or the server who gives you the food here. So you pay what is given to you. And then the next one is be prepared to haggle. Bargaining is pretty common here in China. And you have to know that the seller will not go beyond where he or she is going to lose. So try your best, start from the lowest and then come up with them. Yeah. The next one on the list is get early to the airport. The airport system here is a little complicated where you have to go through a lot of checks before you get to the flight. So it's very advisable. I think they, they close the, the checkpoints where you have to check in. I think one hour, 30 minutes or an hour before the flight takes off. So it's very advisable for you to get to the airport or even the train station before time. Get there early and then you can get in line because the people are a lot, right? So before you, it gets to you, you might have consumed a lot of time. So it's advisable for you to get to the airport really early and then go through the checkpoint that you have to go through and then you are safe to move. The next one is, um, it's common here to pay for the food before you get the food. Because in China, you'll be brought the bill immediately. You order for it to pay before the food comes. And I think that's a little comfortable because you don't have to walk again to the counter to go and pay the money before you leave. So immediately you are done with your food. All you have to do is to just vamut from the place or from the restaurant here. So the next one is spitting is normal here in China. Ooh. Spitting on the train, on on like even very important in the in the elevator, very important places you see Chinese will spit around and it's normal for them. So please get it as a normal thing that is being done here in China. Yeah. So the next one is transport is cheap. Most of the time we use cheap transports like transports like the subway, the bus, and it's it's really cheap. You can go to a very long distance where you would have to pay a very minimum fee to get to your destination. So transport is a little cheap here in China. And the next one is beware of tea house or student scams. If you get here on your first day, you surely have people who would want to help you like freely. Some will even come to you, hey, I'm a student and you know, uh, we have a project we have to work on, blah, blah, blah. Um, can you help me? Can we, can we take tea or can we take tea together? And then we discuss a few things. You go in there to go and take the tea and you, you receive a bill of about 500 USD for just a tea that is surely a scam. So what you have to do is you, if someone recommend that, okay, let's go to a restaurant and go have lunch or just go eat. You suggest that you are going to uh, recommend your restaurant or you, you point out restaurants that you want them to go. If they insist that they want you to go to their restaurant, then know that there is something fishy going on. You are probably going to be scammed, okay? So beware of that um, when you come to China. And the next one is um, get a translator. Get a translator. I'm going to do a series on the vital or the important apps that you need to get when you come to china or when you're coming to china and i'll talk more on the translator when i do that video and um the next one is try street food oh street food in china can be delicious like it's a little cheap and then it can be really really delicious i advise that you try them and be testified for yourself for yourself okay and on the street food too, I'll surely bring up a video 
on that for you to see how street food are here in china so guys please stay tuned for more videos coming from me okay and then the next one is um be careful when crossing the road okay there has been a lot a lot lots lots of cases where um chinese drivers hit people down even when they are crossing the road when it's it's green for them to go like recently there was a video that went around where a driver killed a lot of people because um there was some some few issues with the driver himself so please watch your left your right your middle everywhere before you cross the roads in china it's very important your life is important and you are important to your country yeah and then the next one is um you surely feel like a celebrity in china of course you probably go to a place where they've not seen a foreigner before or they 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 rarely see a foreigner so if you go there you are surely going to be a celebrity for a few moments then that's it for you yeah so enjoy that moment of celebrity here in china um they would ask they will surely ask to take pics of you and there are those ones who also take pictures of you even when they don't ask it's normal please take that one um as a normal thing you see people hiding they will, they will just take you the picture without asking you it's normal with chinese guys so before we finish this video i would want you to learn two chinese phrases that might help you here in china the first one on the list is ni hao ni hao means hello so let's say you you, you come here for the first time and you want to talk to strangers you can approach them with hey ni hao ni hao hey ni hao they they like to add a hey, a hey. like it's kind of a respect they add to their um, words when they are speaking so you can be like hey ni hao so it's it calls their attention for you to continue whatever you can you want to say to them so you can be like hey ni hao then you show your translation to them and they'll help you and that brings me to the second word that we will learn today is xie xie. Xie xie. it means thank you thank you so um let's say you say hey ni hao uh can you help me do this blah, blah. so you show your phone and then with your translator you show them and then when they are done helping you you'll be like xie xie. Xie xie. thank you so guys that's it for this video i hope that this video be of help to you if it's of help to you please don't forget to hit the like button and then subscribe if you are new here and please share to people for them to see what they need to know before they come to china and please leave a comment on how this video is helpful to you if you saw this thank you very much and have a beautiful one wherever you are peace out Thank <laughs> you.